Cafe Networking Podcast promotes successful business experts. I'm Tom Riach, known as the King of Networking, connecting people throughout the world for my podcast studio in Brazil. And today we talk with Maduri Daza, and he's joining us from Aliso Viejo in California. Maduri Pura Daza, formerly a monk, is a holistic health and business lifestyle coach and CEO. And he has trained hundreds of health and wellness professionals, coaches, and influencers using his monk mindset method. So Maduri, what is conscious coaching? Right. Yeah. The conscious coaching in short is the practice of taking the most important areas of our life, namely our health, our in sense what we call dharma or your purpose, as well as your spiritual connection and then your relationships, these four health, purpose, um, spirit and relationships and finding a way to harmonize them in a very holistic and natural way so that one can live the life that they want as opposed to just covering their needs. How do we not only cover your needs and make sure that you have everything that you need and more, uh, but also do something extraordinary in this life. And by doing something extraordinary, the primary way that can happen is tapping into the, well, becoming a conscious individual, Uh, going beyond the animalistic tendencies and propensities of just living life and going on autopilot. But how do we start to open up the mind in such a way and open up the consciousness in such a way that we can access parts of ourself that's going to be less limited than what would be available, say, on autopilot? And how do we really expand towards our potential? Again, in a very holistic way, without depending on that which is artificial or outside of yourself, how to look within and expand consciousness in that way. So that's the type of thing that we like to do, especially for um, those who are already interested in holistic health and those who already have some experience in that realm. Well, and I, I can see that because actually we're taught to look at everything sort of the process and parts. We don't look at the whole. And we consider what you said, that, that to look at ourselves and consider our spirit, our relationships. I'm a you know, networking person. That, it's obvious that that's part of it. But how you do that, why you do that, and if you become spiritually involved with whatever you're doing and the persons you're becoming. Because many times we overlook the person as a person. We sort of identify mm-hmm. a person as a thing or as a something or coming from somewhere or some company, but not necessarily understanding that person as a whole. We look at them as bits mm-hmm. and pieces, right? Yeah, which are arguably relationships are the most important thing for us. Everyone will give everything else up for a good couple of relationships. And, you know, that's why harmonizing them is so essential because for years as, as a monk, as you mentioned, I, on my 18th birthday, I do what most 18-year-old men do, and that is uh, moved to India and became a celibate monk. And uh, from there, I studied various ancient yoga literatures um, called the Vedas, where I learned all about mindset. And so I was helping people with spirit, but then what happened was I was realizing, okay, but they're neglecting their health or their relationships or their career and purpose. So then that's when, as a monk, I started studying Ayurveda, which is one of the oldest holistic sciences um, in the world. And and so I started learning that and helping people with their health. And then I realized, okay, people are still neglecting their purpose or the relationships. And like this, over the last more than a decade now of studying these different practices, trying to figure out how to make sure everything fits in a synergetic way as opposed to going all in on one area of your life and neglecting the others, we're still going to feel we're, we're still going to feel dissatisfied. And we're going to feel um certain areas of emptiness if all areas right. all four of these areas aren't full and but so if we look at those areas we, do we need to consider each one of those areas as something that's finite or are they malleable they need to fit together but they can change not. absolutely and i i mean the one thing that is constant is change in this world one of the few things that is guaranteed is that everything is going to change and so how to learn the essentials of these areas in terms of okay how do you get your physical mental and spiritual health in alignment in a sustainable way. And how do you make money doing something that's of your psychophysical nature and the reason that you're here with your unique gifts? And how do you connect with all relationships in terms of who are the teachers that you want to be like that you can follow and listen to? Who are the people that you can help that are in a situation where you were in at some point in your life? Who are your peers that are in a similar enough like-minded state that you guys can all uplift each other, finding a partner that's uplifting, etc.? By doing all of these together, then one can actually live a full life, a, a whole life, as opposed to, you know, 
you could be very successful financially, but then it's like you die You're because you didn't take out. care of your yeah, health. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, there's no quality of life. Or you could have the great quality of life but you're not making money. And so you can't really afford the quality of life or you have all these things, but you don't have anyone to connect with. And it's like, screw everything else. If I don't have, you know, uh, real relationships, which are ultimately everyone only just wants love. You know, right. everyone would give anything for, for love. And, and want love something out, right? From. It's the give me, not exactly. you know, take something or here's something I'm offering. So as a conscious exactly. business and holistic coach, how can our listeners find you? Yeah, madhu.life, M-A-D-H-U dot L-I-F-E on all platforms. Uh, that's our website, madhu.life, as well as on all social media platforms, M-A-D-H-U dot L-I-F-E. Um, that's the easiest way to come in touch with what we do. And we have crazy amounts of free resources on m what we call the monk mindset method, which is just to help anyone and everyone start to be in control of their mind as opposed to being controlled by, by their the mind. mind. Very mm -hmm. good. Well, thanks again for sharing your time and experience. Grateful to be here with you. Thanks, Tom. And again, for our listeners, it's Madhuri Dasa. It's M-A-D-H-U-R-I-D-A-S-A. -A -A. He's known as Madhu, M-A-D-H-U, and it's dot life. You find him on Instagram, his site, which is madhu.life, and on TikTok. Cafe Networking is brought to us by Focus MI Market Intelligence, an agricultural market research specialist in Brazil. More information at focusmi.com. Talk to Tom, talk to the world. Thanks for listening. Until the next time here at Cafe and Networking Podcast. Mm -hmm.